Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's our squad 911 back. Um, I told you it was going to be an exciting year. Um, actually, it's been a pretty exciting two months since uh, the new year. I've gotten quite a few uh, new statues uh, that I've added to the collection. Uh, but one of the more exciting pieces that I had on pre-order was this one. I uh, opted for cheaper shipping, uh, so it took a little longer. I know a couple of collectors out there on the, in the YouTube universe have uh, ordered received theirs and unboxed it. But this is the XM Studios Generation 1 Bumblebee, um, one-tenth scale. Uh, super excited. Um, Definitely going to go well with uh, the XM Optimus back there. I'm probably going to change out his arm where he's holding um, the little communicator and it has Bumblebee in it. But it'll be kind of strange if Bumblebee's in front of him or beside him. Uh, why would he need to communicate with him if he's right, right there, right? Um, but yes, uh, pre-ordered this uh, last year. I uh, got this from Todd at Spec Fiction Shop. Great guy, great customer service. Uh, got this on the pre-order price, which I think was like $150 cheaper um, than the retail price. Shipping wasn't too bad on this piece. I think it was about $130 US, um, just because uh, it's not that big compared to like Optimus's box. Um, and he's not too heavy. I could uh, I easily pick this up from the front steps and brought it inside, brought it downstairs. Put it on this table. This table weighs heavier than, uh, than this. Um, what else can I say? I picked this up for, I think, 1060 US plus the $130 shipping. Um, I think now the price is, I think, 1200 US. Uh, but I figured it wasn't too bad of a price that it would definitely be worth picking this up, especially when this is like a low edition size. I think it's like 250, 252. Uh, and this one is number 50. Um, so I was one of the early adopters of the statue. Um, yeah, so let's get opening, shall we? I'm going to start cutting this open. Uh, I haven't actually uploaded my Optimus Prime unboxing video yet. Um, there was issues with it. Um, UPS had delivered it and uh, completely destroyed the legs on Optimus. They were just like literally rolling it end over end. They parked at the end of my property and just rolled it all the way to my front door. Got broken. Uh, UPS didn't take any responsibility for the damages. Uh, insurance is pretty much pointless um, with them unless, unless they lose it, of course. So, I don't know, I guess it's still um, recommended that you get insurance in case it gets lost. Uh, but I had third party insurance through my credit card company because I purchased it through my credit card company and they reimbursed me uh, for replacement legs. So thank God XM in Singapore had two replacement legs left um, and I purchased it from them and uh, my Amex uh, Platinum card, they, uh, they covered it for me. So, you know, it was worth the membership membership fees for, for Amex this time around. All right, so opening up this box in a typical XM fashion, everything's nicely packed. And, ooh, I guess this is the art print. It's the art print right here. Going to... I don't think I got an art print with my Optimus. Hmm. Kind of... Oh, never mind. It is not an art print. It is the instructions. Yes, and then it's the assembly booklet. It's pretty fancy to put an assembly booklet in. And then you can scan the QR code so you can see the video online on how to assemble it. But I'm pretty sure we can figure this out together. I'm going to put that here so I can reference it. Put that there. All right. So, let's see how we're going to do this. All right, there we go. Put that over here. Move this box off screen. All right. I said that this wasn't heavy, but uh, when you're 
holding it for uh, a couple of seconds, just trying to lift it out of the box, almost like planking it in midair. Um, it, it is fairly heavy. So we have a little bit of corner damage on this corner here. I didn't see any damage on the outer box, but uh, you know, it's bound to happen. Hopefully this guy's okay in here. Uh, I could understand why Optimus got damaged. He's just so heavy. So like even a small impact, you have all that weight of the pieces inside kind of uh, compacting and that's where you get those cracks. Um, but. This is very reminiscent of the corner damage I had on the Optimus. But I am optimistic that this isn't damaged because it's a lighter piece. All right. So what do we have here? We have Transformers, the Transformers, Heroic Autobot. Nice little dent there, more than meets the eye. Um, on the side here, we have Bumblebee, a little description of him. Uh, his strength isn't very high, it's a, a rated on two. Intelligence is quite high on eight. Um, his courage is very high at a 9.5. Skill at seven firepower at two. So if he were to attack uh, Megatron, probably wouldn't do much damage. Uh, endurance is quite high and his rank is quite high at a six point, at a seven. All right, so uh, his function, espionage. The least likely can be the most dangerous. Small, eager and brave, Bumblebee acts as a messenger and spy due to his small size. He dares to go where others can't and won't. He idolizes the bigger Autobots, especially Optimus Prime and Prowl, and strives to be accepted. He is the most energy efficient and has the best vision of all the Autobots. He can go underwater for reconnaissance. They spelt four wrong, they spelt it F-I-R, uh, and salvage missions. Although physically the weakest Autobot, his stealth more than compensates for his inadequacy. I don't think Bumblebee's inadequate at all, especially when he's a Volkswagen bug. Uh, if he was a new Volkswagen bug, he'd probably break down, but the older ones were, were much, much better. Uh, made in Germany. All right. Um, not much else to see. The other side just has the Autobot symbol there. And now I'm going to lift up the box. What's nice about XM is on their boxes, they put little holes in the corner here. So when you lift it up, it lets the air, like the suction release. So it's quite good. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of the, the corner damage there. I don't know if you guys can see it in the light, but uh, hopefully everything is okay. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna move the camera closer so you guys can have almost a bird's eye view of what's inside the box as I unstrap it and open it. So uh, bear with me and I'll uh, get the camera set up. All right, here we go. I love these straps from XM. It's a lot better than having that ugly tape that goes around. Um, yeah, and then when you resell, you just tape over tape over tape, and then it just adds to weight, and then it costs you more for shipping. <laughs> All right, so this was the corner that was damaged, and of course, his legs are there. Um, Oh, no, sorry, that's not his legs. That is Spike. Seems to be okay. I don't really care much for Spike, so if he broke... <laughs> I shouldn't say stuff like that, but yeah. Um, all right, so let's see. This is the base. 
Yeah, Cybertronian base here. Okay. It's kind of stuck. Oh, there we go. I'm going to take all the pieces out and unwrap them for you guys so you guys can see what it looks like. That's it there. Hold that. Ah, oh, that's a good spot to put that so that these don't break. And uh, this. That's the base there. Don't remember how this went back in. I think like this. All right. Uh, ooh. This is the bug. This is awesome. Nice weathering on there. Very cool. Some decent weight to this. And back here. Part of the base there. Another part of the base here. Let's see, what do we have here? Looks like it's part of Spike's arm from his exosuit. Bumblebee's arm holding his blaster. Very nice. Sorry, I should have showed you guys all these pieces too. I'm just too excited. I just want to get this open and put it together. Uh, I know a lot of guys online were saying that they were disappointed with the size of them. Uh, but you know what? It's Bumblebee. Bumblebee is small. Um, he was drawn inconsistently in the cartoon. Sometimes he was up to Optimus's chest, and sometimes he was up to Optus, Optimus's kneecap. So, you know what? Um, he's a small dude. Volkswagens are small, especially if you parked one beside um, a semi truck. Uh, so yeah, the size doesn't really concern me. I just love the detail. Um, that is the other arm for Spike's exo suit. I don't think I showed this one. That was his other exo arm. The detail is quite amazing on, on these pieces here. Um, oh no, how did this get over here? So this is one of Bumblebee's heads. Hope it didn't get damaged, maybe from the suction of when I pulled up the box. He seems fine. Um, that's his head there. Really, really nice detail. I, I love how XM does uh, their head sculpts. Uh, they're not the greatest at doing, I guess, um, human sculpts, um, as I'll show you with this bike's portrait. But man, to do like robotic head sculpts and like more um, like helmets from Star Wars and um, aliens, uh, they are bar none the best at doing that. Um, I feel like Prime 1 is probably better at face sculpts. Uh, but XM is getting better. Um, yeah, it's hit and miss. I really like uh, Jean Grey's. Um, but again, it's not like uh, I like Jean, like Dark Phoenix's, uh, the one where you can see the eyes in the pupils, but more um, of the white eyes. So really, that's not. I'm just rambling. Uh, you guys know what I'm saying. Uh, I just don't feel like they're very amazing at doing face sculpts. Or realistic ones, at least. That's Bumblebee's arm. What piece is this? This looks like another part of the base. All right, we'll do Spike next. Hopefully he's not damaged from that. Yeah, like 
The anatomy is amazing on this exosuit, but uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Not the greatest face or head sculpt. Like, look at those teeth. It's like, he looks like a G.I. Joe, like when I was a kid and you bought a G.I. Joe figure. That's, you would expect a little bit more uh, from XM. All right, these, oh, that's a Spike's exosuit helmet. Wish it was a little bit more tinted and you couldn't see that face. Um, I might actually even send this out um, to get uh, repainted. <laughs> what else do we have here? Oh, I think this is other Bumblebee's other leg. One that pegs into the base and pegs into him. That is, wow, that looks Great, looks phenomenal. Like how they put kind of like an iridescent paint behind the lens, it kind of gives it that kind of like almost like a cat's sight or um, star sapphire sort of look, gem like. Really, really nice detail here. Little bit smaller than, I guess, you know what? Maybe the size is a little small. If they actually made this part here the same size as, you know, the front of this car, he might have been the absolute perfect size, maybe an inch or two bigger. Uh, but we'll see when we put it together. I'm just going off what people have been saying online. Um, so far, I think I'm okay with it. Um, here is Bumblebee's body. Am I missing one head? Oh, I forgot to do one head there. Uh, but this is Bumblebee's torso and his left leg. Really, really nice detail. He might go very well with my with my uh, one ten skill Imaginary Arts Jazz. Uh, actually, no, he's he's much bigger. <laughs> like, okay, these are the bases. Guess I'll open them since this is an unboxing. The video bases just like Optimus's. It's always good to open everything up and make sure there's no damage. Great piece there. Okay, and the other alternate head sculpt here, the one where he has, I guess, his his battle visor on. I probably will not display him like that. I kind of like uh, the typical bumblebee look. Definitely like this one more. Um, a lot of guys prefer this. This is very jazz-like, I feel, like a visor. Um, I like him with his eyes. So maybe they could did another uh, shot where it was his eyes and then it had the actual like uh, mouth covering, nose covering there. That would have been cool. All right, so that is it for that. There's no, oh, there's pieces actually in here. That is very strange. Um, ah, the bumper pieces for the vehicle. XM001. It would have been cool if they did the actual, like if it was XM uh, BB50, like the number of, the addition number of this piece, but uh, that probably would have driven costs up. Uh, but yeah, here you have it, guys. This is, let me get all this crap off the table here. This is Bumblebee and we are going to assemble them together very shortly. I'm going to reposition the camera and uh, we'll get right to it. All right guys, see you in a bit. Let's get this assembly on the road. Okay, here is the base. Very cool base. Has quite a bit of heft to it. Feels like solid polystone. Um, you know what, let's do instructions. Number one is, I don't know why they say that's number one, but okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see where this piece goes. And we figure it out. I do not see any peg spots for it. Uh, 
Oh, before they used to give you an assembly, like a whole booklet, like what piece goes where, you now have to go online to see where everything goes. Um, not gonna do that. All right, come on, this has a huge peg in it. This has to be pretty obvious where this goes, right? Or not. <laughs> oh, here it goes, right here. It went right here, I'll do it for you guys again. Right there, nice positive lock. All right, and then And Bumblebee's peg here. That is the wrong way. <laughs> this is very similar, this piece here, like to the kind of jet engine that is on Optimus's um, base. Hmm. This is a very nice fit. It's a big peg. I'm not going to be worrying about any leaning issues. Um, there's really not much here um, to do or to put stuff in. Uh, these pieces, however, need to figure out where they go. See the peg here. Maybe if I knew what this thing looked like. That is probably not for this piece. Oh no, it does look like it's for this piece. Uh, I found a spot here. So maybe this piece goes in like this. And it does. That adds quite a bit to the base, I must say. And I believe there was another, I see a spot here. Right here, where I guess one of these pieces will rest. Um, so maybe this kind of reaches around or not. Oh, I think I found there's a peg spot. That is a peg spot. This is a very long peg, by the way. So it might go on after you, before you put on this piece here. I'm going to take that piece off. Not push this off the table. And peg him into there. I don't think he pegs into there. I'm not even sure. Because it is really skewed. Can't go that way. Hmm. I'm very confused. It definitely looks like it's supposed to go there, unless there's other pieces in here, but I don't see anything else. Unless this is supposed to go in here. No. Let's try this again. It is super tight. It is. I might have to, it does go there, um, but it's not pegging in perfectly. Um, and it's already rubbing against everything else on here. I, I'm not going to force it. I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Hopefully as it acclimatizes, uh, it's been traveling outside in the cold. I literally just got this like 30 minutes ago. Um, but I'll show you guys an up close of that later on. All right, let's get spike here. Spike pegs. Right here.
It's not sitting in flush. Oof, that is a huge gap. Feel like it's like a little bit of roughness on this peg. Oh, it's getting better, getting better. Okay, that looks like it's fairly good. There's a little dome on there. Take the protective plastic off Bumblebee's windshield there. Oh, there's more plastic on his back windshield. Take that off too. We'll peg him in. So, uh, this arm, it's the right arm, and we'll do his blaster arm. Oh, forgot to put this piece back on here. It's a really, really nice base. I am really impressed with this. Um, you can display them without spike. Um, I thought they were going to give something to actually like plug off the hole where spike actually is. Oh, while I do this, like a, another piece to unbox in here that I just found. Um, it's just the mirrors for the bug. Um, yeah. I'll just uh, put these on the table. All right, so I can put these pieces here. Take the protective plus now, I'll just leave it on for now. That is the bug there. And these mirrors just peg in. Like so. Oh, and the bumpers, of course. Which I will have to pick up and see. Because one side has a peg and the other side does not. That. And then the front bumper. Like that. All right. This is great because we have a Volkswagen, not a bug, but a, a wagon. Um, helps me transport statues. And finally, the head. There we go. And then we have the alternate head, which we can put on here. Very strong magnet. Um, what do you guys think? Do you guys like um, the more traditional head sculpt or do you like the battle ready visor head sculpt? I personally like this one. Um, yeah.
So that's him all assembled. So move him away. Overall, I am very happy with this piece. He's not as small as I expected him. He's quite big. Um, not gonna, not gonna lie. I expected him to be like a little bit smaller, but this is a great, great size. Um, I'm gonna move the camera so we can get closer ups of this, and then I'm gonna get my uh, G1 Jazz uh, from Imagineer Arts. He's one tenth scale, I believe. Um, we'll put him beside him. We can see the difference. Uh, I won't be able to put Optimus on the table. He's just way too heavy, and I am so scared of another leg break or something, or anything breaking. But he's massively heavy. I think he's like 80, 90 pounds. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, I will take the camera off the tripod. Or maybe I'll just move it up closer so we can spin this thing on the Lazy Susan and we can check him out. Okay, guys, here we are. I grabbed Jazz from the background there, put him on the table. Uh, you can see him right here beside Bumblebee. Bumblebee looks bigger than Jazz there. Just a little bit bigger. Um, but I'm pretty sure Jazz is bigger than Bumblebee in, um, in the cartoons. Uh, both German vehicles, one's Volkswagen, one's uh, Porsche. Uh, Back then in their vintage uh, forms, uh, they were all one company, Volkswagen, Porsche, and Audi, or Audi, Audi, it's Audi. Um, yeah, I wish um, Jazz came with um, a vehicle. It would be awesome to have a Porsche, a Porsche, a VW Bug, and the truck. Uh, oh my God, that would, Wow, that's what dreams are made of for me. <laughs> uh, that's pretty sad, but I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, let's um, take the tripod here and we can get some closer shots of everything. Uh, hopefully, you guys can see Jazz. I've done a review on him before. Um, he's a great piece. I'm a huge fan of jazz and huge fan of uh, of Porsche. Um, he's great. Um, his bass is great. Very dynamic pose. Uh, but it's not about you today, jazz. Sorry. Uh, it's all about B. Uh, this is Bumblebee here. Um, he looks absolutely fantastic. Um, Sorry, I'm just uh, adjusting the tripod legs here so I can get it lower. Please bear with me, All right? This is not a, a fancy production. This is uh, just me, my camera, and I recently got some Rode uh, lavalier mics. Um, but yeah, okay, so this is the bug. Really cool, really like the weathering. Um, Looks great. And then here is Bumblebee's um, battle head sculpt here. I don't really like it. I really, really like um, this sculpt much, much better. Yeah, let's start off with the base here. Ooh. Look at this. If I wasn't paying attention, would have uh, decapitated uh, Jazz there. All right, so let's move Jazz out of the way. And let's focus here on Bumblebee. Um, you know what? I am going to take the camera off the tripod. Sorry if it's going to be a little bit shaky, uh, but we can get much more intimate with the statue this way. All right, back with the bug here. We can just get it into focus. Really, really detailed. All right, so back to Bumblebee. 
This is the Cybertronian base, which I like quite a bit. Um, got the little uh, pipes and or tendrils or whatever, because you know, like uh, they're machine but alive, so you don't know like it's organic and um, metal and machinery all in one. Looks great. This is a little uh, jet. Um, Jet engine there, really nice detail in there, the copper tones. Uh, let's see. And these are um, Bumblebee's legs here, Spike's legs. I'm going to move up to both their torsos or midsections. Um, let's remove this. can see there, this is a horrible looking human being. Um, geez, like I said, he looks like um, a GI Joe figure that just an afterthought, like the painting was, oh my goodness. They should have just made the cover like an astronaut helmet with the reflective gold or whatever. Um, it'd be better than that. Hopefully there's more glare that you won't be able to see his face. Probably gonna send it out and get uh, get repainted. Uh, but the details in this exosuits is phenomenal. You can see like the pulley system or like the wiring, um, stuff that makes this thing work. Um, the detail is insane. Just in good old XM fashion. He has his own little kind of like a booster jetpack there, his other arm here, XO03, see Bumblebee's leg here, tire treads, very, very nice detail. Moving up to his hips, see more detail there. Really, really, really nice. And there's his blaster, his hand. See inside his, uh, inside the glass there, you can see some of like the inner workings of B. Hopefully that's bulletproof glass. And here is the head sculpt. I really, really like this head sculpt. Really reminds me of G1, the cartoons. Um, here, I'll swap out for the, oh my goodness, this magnet is very strong. That head sculpt, not a big fan. Yes, it looks cool. He's like this cool bumblebee ninja devil sort of guy with his horns. Uh, just doesn't do it for me. If it does it for you, great. Um, at least you have the option. Um, but this is not working for me. It almost rolled off the table just there, but I wouldn't care because this is the head sculpt that I care about. Um, ooh, another interesting area of note and details right here under his underarm. Like, look at that. Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal work, XM. Um, could he have been a little bit bigger? Yes, maybe an inch or two. Um, does that bother me? No. Um, maybe if I paid $150, $200 more like everybody else did when they didn't pre-order this early, I might be a little bit more upset, but I am not. This is great. Good job, XM. I'm glad I got it. This is such a low edition side of 250 some odd pieces. Um, I couldn't be happier. I think he's great. He's going to be an excellent addition to the rest of my collection. And yeah, I think I'm just going to go get off camera and enjoy this thing um, or more closely uh, instead of staring at it through a camera. <laughs> uh, but I have other pre-orders coming in. Um, 
please like, uh, hit the subscribe button. I do this for fun and, uh, you know, this is a passion of mine. I really, really enjoy doing this. I really love unboxing it. Also helps me document uh, any damages when I open my, my statues. Um, but yeah, if you could like and subscribe, I'd really, really appreciate it. And I'll have more of these videos made for you guys. Um, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys on the next one.